If you're new to video editing, you might be getting confused with all of the different codecs and file types that you can be using to export your videos. Like, what even is that? While there's tons of different settings that you can use for a bunch of different scenarios, I'm gonna show you two different codecs that you can use like 99% of the time. One is a high compression codec and the other is a low compression codec. Our first codec, our high compression one, is H.264. Now this is really good for most final deliverables. It's also really good for posting to web or social media, if it's going to a non-tech savvy client who just needs something that works, or if you're just looking for a small file size. In Premiere, you can find this with the Match Source High Bitrate Preset, which often comes up by default. Scroll down to the settings and you can see that this is set at 15 megabits per second. This is the data rate of the file and determines both the quality and how large the end file is. If the number is bigger, your video will be higher quality but larger in file size. If you want to squeeze some extra quality out, maybe specifically for uploading to YouTube, you could push it to 20 megabits per second. On the opposite end, if you need to make a really small file, you could set it all the way down to 6. In my opinion, if you go lower than that, it'll start to look visibly crappy. If I had to guess, H.264 files are probably the most common export setting that everyone uses. They're really small and they're compatible basically everywhere. For instances where you need a high quality, low compression codec, I would use ProRes. And I would use this for a few different things. First, if we want a super high quality master file that we can transcode to different formats later, Second, if we're rendering some motion graphics or VFX and we want to maintain as much image quality and color data as possible for when we bring it back into our main edit. Another bonus is that ProRes edits extremely smoothly. In Premiere's export settings, simply scroll down to QuickTime, then find the ProRes options in the drop down menu. Now there's several different types of ProRes. If you're working with 10-bit footage, we can stick with ProRes 422HQ. If your content is in 8-bit, we can go with regular ProRes 422 to save some data. ProRes has a set data rate, so you don't need to make any adjustments to the bitrate or anything like that. But you should know that you're going to end up with a really large file. If your video is a couple minutes long, you could be looking at several gigabytes by the end. H.264 and ProRes are both super easy to use, so I hope that this video made the process of exporting a little bit simpler for you. And if it did, maybe you should get subscribed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.